I had the remnants of my old roller blades. I thought now's my chance to use the bearings and the bearing cases. I'll make a gimbal out of them. I mean, how hard could it be? As it turns out, 15 months later, very, very hard. I only had this carbon tool cloth lying around and for anyone who's tried to wrap tool cloth around complex structures it simply doesn't work. So I decided to pull the individual strands from the tool cloth, force epoxy resin through them and then I wrapped them around a balsa wood skeleton. I was quite surprised that it worked better than I thought and it was really really strong. It was about this point of the build that I realised that this whole gimbal project was going to take a very, very long time. Considering this strand method that I used, I'm really, really happy with the result quite a lot of sanding I had to do to get it down to this stage but really really nice in the end I wanted to be able to easily adjust all the axis as balancing is a critical factor of a gimbal the easier and more precise you can balance the frame the better the performance is going to be if you've got any slip or play anywhere on the frame then the sensors aren't going to be able to handle it and it's going to vibrate and it's going to do all sorts of crazy stuff I really wanted a solid camera platform adjustable on both X and Y axes. I decided on round rails and that way I could wrap carbon around them to form a platform that could slide backwards and forwards via a threaded rod. I made this part in reverse. I uh, made a balsa wood exoskeleton and constructed the carbon platform from within. I'm actually quite amazed it worked as I needed to be sure that every single measurement was precise.
mounting the motors onto the frame proved to be very very tricky indeed I made a template by using carbon fiber strands in this way I know that the motors will mount to the frame precisely For this part I built a mould from fibreglass and wood. It definitely pays to protect oneself from fibreglass. You can check out my channel for in-depth videos of how I made each part. bearing housing seen here in the middle of the unit is built around two bolts that pass through the entire structure and it is those bolts in this case that bear the force of the load I built the handlebars via the same balsa wood method. I had to incorporate a few tricky bits and pieces and this part took a lot of time. I have a cell phone mount in the bars which connects to the motherboard via a Bluetooth module. The connectivity of which is still a work in progress. Very, very difficult trying to get two parts connected to one another, but I'll get there in the end. I made a cover for the electronics compartment. I actually thought this would be the hard part of the build compared to the other bits, but it was fairly straightforward and it fit together real nicely. Here are the parts I made to make up the frame. I'm using a base cam electronics motherboard version 3 I believe and this is an HC-05 Bluetooth module. I had to make a little plug for it. I collected a whole lot of carbon dust and just mixed them with epoxy resin and used that to keep the mounting nuts against the base. I've made this part so the battery and the motor are all around the axis and so that the whole weight complex can be shifted. This makes for optimal weight distribution.